Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. The M3 Amphibious Rig is just one of many vehicles designed to solve one of warfare's oldest problems. How do you get an army across a river quickly, safely, and without leaving them open to attack by the enemy? Over the years, this problem has plagued military engineers. Yet the M3 represents one of the most viable solutions. Designed by German firm EWK, the M3 functions more or less like a 4x4 vehicle on land. However, upon encountering a river or lake, it can drive directly into the water and deploy a heavy-duty rail system that measures up to 13 meters long. Each rig is also equipped with special connectors that allow the ramps to be joined with one another, forming a bridge of vehicles that both man and machine can traverse as needed. Eight M3s can bridge a water gap of up to 100 meters, creating a road strong enough to carry tanks, armored vehicles, and other heavy equipment. If fewer vehicles are available or the gap is too wide, the vehicles can employ pump jets to move through the water like a ferry boat. Though it is an excellent solution, the M3 is not the only approach engineers have taken to solve this challenge. Pontoon bridges are an equally effective way to traverse water obstacles. Unlike the M3, they can also be semi-permanent, allowing troops to cross over repeatedly without having to redeploy. Each pontoon is modular, which allows them to be quickly attached to one another. They can also be deployed by trucks and helicopters, with troops using specialized boats to move them into place. Because they are designed for maximum buoyancy, these pontoon bridges can easily support some of the largest vehicles in the United States arsenal, including the M1 Abrams tank, which can weigh up to 70 tons. The most important thing when it comes to erecting a combat bridge is speed. During such operations, an entire battalion could be left sitting out in the open, vulnerable to enemy attack. Along with the pontoon bridge system, which is often referred to as a ribbon bridge. 
The United States military also equips its units with a series of M-30 bridge erection boats. These are specifically designed to support the rapid deployment and retrieval of floating bridge sections. As such, they are simple and easy to transport, with a standard diesel engine and water jet propulsion system to operate in both shallow and deep water. What makes the ribbon bridge system so ingenious is its overall transportability. The ribbon sections fold into small rectangular units, allowing them to be easily moved from place to place by truck or, in some cases, by helicopter. The M30 boats are similar. Their square, stocky design allows them to fit easily on the back of a truck while also giving them increased buoyancy in the water. Combined, the two designs enable well-coordinated troops to establish crossing points over bodies of water in a matter of minutes. Of course, operating and maintaining the M30 and the ribbon bridges requires specialized training. Military engineers must undergo rigorous testing before becoming certified to work in the field. Despite the inherent challenges, it's unlikely the United States military would approve any bridging system that could not transport even their largest tanks. After all, tanks play a crucial role on the battlefield due to their unique combination of firepower, protection, and mobility. They have been a central element of military ground forces since their introduction in World War I. Using their large caliber guns to destroy fortifications, infantry, and enemy tanks alike. While they can cross a wide range of terrains, the heaviest models could never cross water without the aid of a bridge. During the redesign of the IRB, or Improved Ribbon Bridge System, in the early 2020s, the ability to safely transport tanks like the M1 was an extremely important benchmark. Both military and civilian engineers spent years working on the problem using various designs at a miniature scale using models that accurately represent the weight and buoyancy of the real thing at a minimal cost and without having to worry about risking a real tank or its personnel. Not all unpassable obstacles are located on the water. It's perfectly common for troops and vehicles to encounter ravines, cliffs, and other dangerous impediments that could stop their advancement and leave them or their allies vulnerable. In this case, United States Army engineers determined combining the tank with a deployable bridge was the best solution. 
The result is the M60 Armored Vehicle Launched Bridge, or AVLB. This unique combat engineering vehicle is capable of deploying an 18-meter-long scissor-style bridge in just 10 minutes. In order to save time and money, the designers built the bridge on the chassis of the M60 Patton battle tank. When deployed, the bridge unfolds and extends to span a gap, allowing all but the heaviest military vehicles to cross over. After use, the bridge can be retrieved, refolded, and carried by the AVLB for future deployment at the next obstacle. Since it is based on the M60 tank's chassis, the AVLB inherits its mobility characteristics, including a powerful engine and tracked mobility, allowing it to operate in diverse terrain conditions. During bridge deployment and retrieval, the AVLB's armored body provides protection against small arms fire and shell splinters. However, it is not equipped with heavy armaments like a main battle tank, as its primary role is engineering rather than combat. Over the years, engineers have made various improvements to the bridge system carried by the AVLB. The latest model, the MLC-70, is made of stronger materials and is therefore capable of safely transporting the M1. One of the most interesting vehicles in the history of warfare is the M1150 Assault Breacher Vehicle. This highly specialized engineering achievement was designed to provide heavy-duty combat engineering support. It is particularly adept at clearing paths through minefields and complex battlefield obstacles. The M1150 is based on the chassis of the M1 Abrams main battle tank, which gives it considerable protection and mobility on the battlefield. This is important, as it is often deployed on the front lines. That said, the vehicle features a specialized mine plow and mine roller system, which allows it to clear both anti-tank and anti-personnel mines at an impressive pace. Traditionally, clearing mines was a dangerous and time-consuming process. However, the ABV's line charge system, technically known as the Mark 154 Mine Clearance Launcher, can use a rocket to deploy an explosive line charge. Upon detonation, the charge can instantly clear a path through obstacles like barbed wire, mines, or IEDs. The M1150 ABV has been used in various combat operations, including Afghanistan and Iraq. Its ability to clear paths through hazardous areas has been crucial in ensuring the mobility and safety of combat units. However, like the M1, the M60, the M30, and the M3, it is just another part of a comprehensive system that helps facilitate safe, rapid troop movement regardless of the situation or landscape. These systems are typically referred to as convoys. 
The inclusion of different types of vehicles like tanks, personnel carriers, and bridging systems helps ensure that the convoy is ready to deal with any obstacle they might encounter. Of course, convoys also include supply trucks and other logistical vehicles, which are crucial for carrying ammunition, food, fuel, medical supplies, and other necessities. In the end, each vehicle, no matter how unique, plays a specific role in ensuring the success and safety of military operations, be they in peacetime or war. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.